What's going on guys? In this video, we're finally going to try to extract the upcoming PlayStation Vita game releases. The first video, we extracted the top 10 games, and then the second video explained some of the methods we want to use in this uh, upcoming Vita game releases, and now we're finally going to try to extract the upcoming Vita game releases uh, section. I actually had a lot of difficulty um, trying to extract all of the info cleanly. And this is because the website isn't properly organized. I'm just going to show you the website again. So this is the PlayStation uh, Vita section. And the American game releases, so as you can see here, this section is actually properly organized. It's organized. Um, all of this info is in a div. It's clean and it's organized. But what happens is the Japanese and the European section um, are not uh, cleanly organized. They're not even actually within a div as the North American portion was. And the Japanese and European sections are actually bunched together and there's no div or section that's um, uh, holding them. There's no container for them. They're actually just mixed in with the rest of the, uh, I guess the rest of the content or they're mixed in with the rest of the uh, website. And, um, and they're actually just written row by row. So we have something like this, then row, 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 then this, row, 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 and then it continues on with the Europe. So they're not properly organized. And it was actually a little messy trying to get the Japanese and the European portions. So we're going to actually take a look at the HTML content. We're going to take a pretty deep look because I want to show you exactly what I mean. All right, so let's just get back to the, the scraping game facts um, portion. Okay, so like the previous videos, all we need to do is we're going to run these uh, lines, which is just uh, it's just getting a GET request, making a GET request. Uh, then we're going to uh, create a soup object, which is going to take all the response content, and then we'll be able to parse everything. All right, so now here comes the uh, sort of the meat of this code. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, upcoming PlayStation Vita game releases or we're going to try to search that by a string. So we're just going to make sure that there is indeed an instance of this string. And if we click this, as you can see, we do get a response back. Uh, we do get a result. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the parents. Uh, this is something we did in video one when trying to find the message board, uh, the top 10 popular games. All right, so we're going to run this. And here uh, we get back a list of results. So remember each uh, result is separated by a comma. So the first result is just the uh, class title. It's a header, which is just the upcoming uh, video game releases. Then the next uh, portion is a div, a div tag, which is holding some more information, I guess class head, and then, and then the title as well. So it's holding a little more. And then we have the next class, which is the div class equals pod pod releases. Um, so this seems to be holding a lot more info, this uh, div class pod pod releases. But I'm going to show you now the problem. If you look a little closer, you can see here North America, and then we'll have all these, um, we'll have a date. And then if you look a little closer, once again, we'll see uh, titles. Okay, so let's just see. There's a date, and then there's an href, and then there's a title, this 99 uh, vitas. 99 videos. So this is the name, uh, the title of the game. So we have the date, and then within the within the a tag we have the title, and the the date is held within span. And then if you go a little further, then you'll see the next game. So essentially, what's happening is this game, this date has a few releases. So this date actually on this date there's a few games being released. So the 99 videos, and then if you go down a little further, uh, the Fallen Legions of Flame. Flame of, uh, Flames of Rebellion, so here again, same portion, uh, Flames of Rebellion. And then if you go to the next date now, 728, there's this game, Collar X Malice. And then there's uh, something called Drive Girls and blah, blah, so, okay. So these are all the North American uh, games. So let's just continue on and here, so here is what seems to be the last title um, because uh, we'll see that it starts a new div, a new class, and then we have the Japanese header, and then we have a span date, and then it sort of just ends. 
So the Japanese portion is not even included, but the Japanese a header is included in this div class. I'm not, it just, it seems very badly organized. So the Japanese header is included within this. Uh, one of the Japanese release dates is also included, but no titles, and it just ends abruptly there. So even if we look a little further, which uh, here's the new div class, um, you'll see that it, it's the same problem. It keeps ending before the Japanese, um, it ends. It starts the Japanese, then it ends abruptly. And actually, there's a cleaner way for me to show you guys this. So let me just get out of this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the length. How many results did we find from this find parents? Okay, so we found 11. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to, we're going to look through all 11 of these uh, results. But what I did here is um, I'm going to do a for loop and I'm actually adding this little, um, these stars to separate these asterisks to separate each result so it's easier to see. All right, so let's just run this. All right, so this actually makes it a lot easier to see. So this is the first instance. Uh, this is the second instance. And then now this is the third one, pod pod releases. And as we had just checked earlier, it ends with Japanese starting. Now the fourth instance actually starts off with this div span equals 12. But if we go all the way down, we can see that it's it ends at the same spot pretty much. Now we go to the next instance which is uh, starts off with post content row but if we go down once again it ends pretty much at the same spot. So even the next instance has all of this info but keep going down keep going down but it ends at the same spot Japan span and then ends and now it, even if you go before, remember, find parents goes before. It looks at all the previous uh, tags, previous tags, previous tags. So it's tried to, it tries to include more and more. But in our case, um, you know, it's not including everything after Japan. Wrapper G platform. Div class equals wrapper G platform. I guess this is the new div. So let's see what this holds. It holds a lot of info. See if it holds the Japanese stuff. Mask of th truth. Okay, and once again, it ends with the... Uh, Japan title and no no game titles just the Japan header so let's see the next platform and once again here we go it ends with Japan now we're already all the way up to the body so the body is usually what holds all the content but for some reason they separated the Japanese portion from the main HTML content which I don't understand why they did that uh, so HTML here we go so now we're all the way up to the HTML remember the HTML is like the mother parent uh, so the first parent so let's see what HTML holds. HTML pretty much holds all of the content. Um, so it should be holding all the games as well. So scroll down. And for some reason, look at this. It, even the HTML is not holding the Japan info. So we essentially, it's outside of the website. Um, I'm not a web developer, but from, from what I understand, that everything within the HTML is all of your uh, web pages contents but for some reason they excluded all the Japanese portion so here the HTML ends while doing this video I actually saw a portion of the Japanese included so I'm curious as to exactly where it's included um, let's see now we get to the and finally I think we found alright so it's included here Penny Punching Princess, and now we start the Japanese portion. Okay, here we go. We start the Japanese portion, and now we're getting the titles. But um, this Japanese portion, it's outside of the body, it's outside of the HTML. All it is is just um, separate hrefs and then it's separate dates. So it's just going row by row. Instead of organize everything inside the HTML content, it just it's outside of it and it's going row by row. Yeah, so this is actually the all of this, this uh, they've decided to include the Japanese portion not within the HTML but within the docs, uh, HTML docs. Beginning of this, here we go. So the doc type. So the doc type is included in every HTML um, website. I forget exactly what it's used for. The doc type usually just holds uh, documentation, I think. So to include it in the doc type portion seems very strange to me to include the Japanese portion. But anyway, so this is uh, makes scraping very difficult. And if I was a web developer, I guess it makes um, web development very difficult as well. All right. 
so the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to pull out the American info, the um, North American games first. Since the Japanese and European are sort of just uh, bunched in there together, it, there's no clean way to actually extract all this uh, data. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extract all the North American games because that's all included within a div. Um, so let's just uh, run this again. And I think it was the second one. Let's just see. Uh, zero, one, two. So the second parent, if we find parents, the second result actually holds all the games. Let's just get out of this. Okay. So this I'm going to actually run. This code that I'm running is just find parents and it's taking the cell second element of the find parents list. So let's just run this and as we saw just earlier, it holds all the North American games and then it ends with the Japan header. And a, and a date. So the North American portion will be uh, a little simpler to extract. It'll be, yeah, it won't be that bad. So let's just, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to call our variable North American games and we're going to save this, uh, this result, this uh, HTML portion or this uh, section of the HTML content. So we're going to just save this. Now we have North American games. Okay. So now let's just look at this, and now we're going to look at how exactly the content is broken down. Now in this, in this HTML content or uh, code, you're going to see some things you've never seen before. If you go back to HTML basics, I never went over um, DT and DD. So DL, we're going to see um, DL, so this is DL. So DL is actually called a description list. So we have a description list, and within the description list, you usually have a DT and a DD. So the D DT stands for a term or a name in the description list. So for in our case, the DT is holding the date. So we have a DL, which is a description list, and it's holding a DT, which is holding the date, and the DD, which is holding the uh, title info. So if you take a closer look, we have a DL, so the DL starts here. Then we have a DT, which, which holds a span, which holds the title, then the span, then the DT ends, then the DD begins, the DD holds a AREF, and a title, and then the DD ends, and then the next DD starts, and it holds another title, uh, legions of blah blah, so we hold the title, and the DD ends, because the DD represents the title, and then here the DL is ending, so essentially the DL each DL is, is holding a date and all the games associated with that date. So the next DL starts, so the next DL starts, and here we go. We see the next date, and then we'll see all the games associated with the next date, uh, all fitting within this next DL. So each DL is holding a date and all the games associated with that date. So this is going to be pretty easy because all we do is we find all the DLs, and then we can extract all of the, the DTs and the DDs. Yeah. So hopefully that was uh, pretty clear. So now what we're going to do is we're going to extract all the games from the uh, the games and the dates from the North American games uh, result tag. So this tag is holding all this uh, info, which is all the info we want. And now what I can do is I can actually uh, just uh, get rid of the, the the output. So we have more workspace here. So this simple code is going to pull out all the games and the date titles. So I'm going to explain exactly what we're doing. Uh, so for, for I in North American games dot find all DL. So once again, um, the DL, if we look here, uh, the DL, here we go. So the DL starts, it holds the DT, which holds the, the date, and then the DD, which holds the titles. So there's multiple titles within uh, one uh, DL. So the DL is holding a date and all the titles associated with that date. All right, so I just explained this earlier as well. I just wanted to recap so you guys have a very clear understanding and that'll make it easier to understand this portion of the code. All right, so fi for I in North American games dot find all, so we're going to find all instances of DL. So once we find each instance of DL, the first thing we want to do is we want to print out the date because the format we want is the date we want to print out the date and then all the games associated with that date under the uh, date. So we're going to find the DT and we're using find because there's only one instance of DT within each DL. Uh, nonetheless, DT is going to give us the date 
and then what we want to do is find all the DDs. So remember, DL has multiple DDs, and we're going to pull out all the games uh, in I that find all DD, and we're going to pull out the text for each DD. And if we run this, oh sorry, American. All right, so here we go. So we have the date, and then we have the titles associated with the date. Um, then we have the next date, and then the title associated, and then the next date, and it goes all the way down to the last game, which is 320, uh, Penny Punching Princess. And then 720 is most likely associated with the J Japan, unless um, they've included the 720 as well. I'm not sure. Um, it looks like it's part of Japan. But what you can do is um, you can ignore this, or you can just uh, pull everything out to the last uh, last uh, DD. Or actually, we can just do something like uh, something like this. Um, all the way to uh, negative one and if we run this it's the same thing but it doesn't include the uh, 720 all right so we're done with this portion which was uh, pretty simple all right so this video has actually gotten on a little longer than I expected so what I'm going to do is actually split up um, the Japanese portion um, extracting Japanese and European portion into another video so this video will end here with just the uh, North American portion and in the next video we will tackle the, um, the Japanese and the, and the European portion.